How many of you think that you have wisdom? Now I know for the ones who don't would probably find it intimidating. But you know how dare you ask such a question? But for the ones who are wise, you would watch this video till the end because the wise people know that the more you learn, the more there is to learn. And that's why you should watch this video till the end because today I'm going to share the difference between data, information, knowledge and wisdom. And make sure if you're new to this channel, then like this video, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. So when I launch a new video, you are the first one to watch it. So let's get started. So Namaste Dosto, my name is Abhay Valsankar, I'm a confidence coach and I welcome you to this episode of Wisdom Wednesdays, wherein you are going to learn what's the difference between data, information, knowledge and wisdom. So before we begin, let's quickly understand the difference between data and information. So as you see on the screen, you're currently being able to see 3 and you can see 3 kg. So let me know in the comments below, which one do you think is data and which one do you think is information? I'm sure most of you have written it in the right way, wherein 3 is nothing but data and 3 kg is nothing but information. So how did we come to this conclusion? Understand in a very simple way that only content is data. Which means what? If I'm giving something which is raw in itself, then that's data. It does not have a context to it. It only has a content to it. So let me give you an example. Imagine you're in your house and your mom says gas. Now when she says gas, what does she mean? There's no meaning attached to it. And that is why this word gas becomes nothing but a data, which is nothing but content. Now let's take the same example ahead. Now if my mom says, instead of gas, if she says, turn off the gas. Now what she has given me is a context to the content. And that is nothing but your stage 2 which is information, which in simple ways is nothing but context applied to content, as simple as that. So to quickly see these two things in perspective, only content was data and content plus context was information. How many of you have got this so far? Let me know with a yes in the comment below as we move on towards the third stage in the pyramid, which is nothing but knowledge. Now let's take the same example ahead. Imagine now I go to the kitchen and my information was to turn off the gas. So knowledge is nothing but how do I do it? Do I see a knob in front of me which I need to twist, I need to turn, I need to rotate? How do I do it? That's nothing but your knowledge, which is nothing but your concept. The concept of how you do anything, that is what builds up to your knowledge. So to put all the three things in a picture together, your data was only content. Whereas your information was context plus content. Now what is knowledge? Knowledge is nothing but concept. A concept of how things work. That's nothing but knowledge. So when I have the knowledge to know that yes, I can turn off the gas by doing this, then that's knowledge. But then let me ask you a question. How many of you think that just having knowledge is not good enough? If you agree with me, then please go ahead and type agree in the comment box because I'm pretty sure that you know this, that just knowing something is as good as not knowing something. Because the difference between what you want and where you are is nothing but action when you actually do something. So if I have knowledge that yes, if I turn this knob, then the gas will be off, then that's just knowledge. Unless I take an action and apply it, it's not going to work out. And that is when your last stage in the DKIW pyramid comes up, which is nothing but wisdom. So then what is wisdom? Firstly, understand this that no single word can define what wisdom is. But the closest that I could come to wisdom is an understanding that wisdom is nothing but a conclave. Now, if you see data was content, if you see information was context, and if you see knowledge was concept, and at the same time, now wisdom is nothing but conclave. Now, if you look at the literal meaning of conclave, it's nothing but a meeting, a meeting of two elements, a meeting of two people, etc. Similarly, wisdom is a meeting point wherein your experience, which you have gained from the past, meets with your expertise, which is nothing but your natural traits and talents over which we have worked hard and now we have achieved expertise in that. So wisdom is nothing but a moment wherein your experience comes in with expertise and then you start doing things naturally over which you don't even have to think. So usually when we do our work every single day, we operate in either of the two states. One is when you are mentally consciously taking efforts and your mind is totally into it. And the second, wherein you don't need to consciously put efforts from your mind and your body takes care of all the things and it happens naturally, you are not even thinking about it. 
How many of you can relate to what I'm speaking? Please go ahead and type relate in the comment box. Meanwhile, let me give you an example. For all those who make tea every single day, while making tea, you don't need to consciously think about what to do. Your hand automatically goes to the stove, you automatically use a lighter, you put the vessel, you add water, you add sugar. Now while adding sugar, you don't use it in a container which has a perfect measurement, no. You just take one spoon, you add two spoon and you do it with what we call as a reference. Now why is that so? Because of your experience of the past, along with the expertise that you have developed that you know what, for a tea, for two people, this amount of sugar is enough. So that is when your body is in action, your mind is not that consciously working in that state. So understand this, wisdom is nothing but knowledge in action, which happens naturally, which comes naturally to you, it's involuntarily. For some people, speaking comes naturally. They don't think so much and speak. They just go in the flow, they channelize whatever comes to them and then it goes. That's wisdom. So now the question is, how do you develop wisdom? You develop wisdom when you start believing in yourself and when you follow this process of DKIW and understand that what you know is not enough for you to consider that you are wise because the only way that you can consistently be at the state of wisdom is knowing that there is so much more to learn. And that's when you're actually wise, when you know that you don't know much. So now let us quickly revise the four stages that we saw in the DKIW pyramid, wherein the first one was data. Data is nothing but content. It's just raw things which have no meaning to it. Then comes the next part, which is nothing but information. Information is context applied to a content. So not only three, but three kg becomes your information. Then comes knowledge. Knowledge is nothing but concept, how things work. It's based on the context and the content together with the ability to do something that how does it work? That becomes your knowledge. But as I said, knowing something only doesn't make sense. You need to apply. And that is why knowledge in action, which is nothing but wisdom, is conclave. It's a meeting of two things within one is your experience and the other is your expertise. And when both of them match, then you're in the state of wisdom, wherein things happen naturally, you don't have to consciously take effort to do it and it happens and it's there in your body. The whole idea of existence is to reach a state wherein things happen naturally. You don't have to consciously worry about everything to do. It's just that you trust the process and go ahead with this. And that's when when you do this regularly, it comes naturally to you in the form of a habit. And I've done a video on habit which you can see in the iCard above. So go ahead and check that out also as to why habits are so very important. So I hope that this video has given you a lot of value and if it did then let me know in the comments with the feelings that you had after watching this and what was your biggest takeaway from this video. And thank you so much for watching this video till the end. If you have loved it then do like it and share it with all your friends and also don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for more inspiring videos. Also I have started a telegram group wherein I can share updates and have a conversation with all of you. So I've given the link to the telegram group in the description below. So feel free to join the group so that we can have conversations conversations and I'll update you about the next videos that comes up there. So thank you so much once again for watching this video till the end and I hope that you have genuinely learned something from this and then share it with your friends and tag your friends also. Thank you so much. Take care.